Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel, Pop-Up Sports. And before we go on, can you do me a favor? Click the little subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I'll wait for you. Thanks. I, you don't know how happy that makes me. Um, Pop-Up Sports is going to be a channel dedicated to the world of sports. We're talking the NFL, Major League Baseball, NHL, NBA, anything sports related will be on this channel. And I know people are probably thinking, Jack, are you crazy? This is not really the time to start a sports channel because there's no sports going on. But you know what? This ter terrible things are going on in the world right now, and we need, sometimes you just need a break. And so a lot of us, sports is that break for us. So what I thought would be interesting to do is take each Major League Baseball team and put their greatest players of all time. And I would do each team each day, a different team each day. And it's going to consist of three outfielders. I'm not going left field, center fielder, right fielder. It's three outfielders. First base, second base, third base, shortstop, catcher, three starting pitchers, two relief pitchers, and the greatest manager for that team of all time. Again, I thought it would be fun to do. You can agree, disagree. Instead of going thumbs down, just go, hey, I disagree with you. Put it in the comment section because that's the best thing about sports is sometimes we don't agree. That player's a great player. That player's a great player. No, I, I prefer that player over this player. You know how what I'm talking about. So anyway, we're, we're going to do that. We're going to start each, like I said, the goal is each day to release a different Major League Baseball team. And just go from there. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Stay safe out there. And I'll be back tomorrow. Bye. I'm going to start with a team that people either love or they hate. And yes, I'm speaking of the New York Yankees. Now, this was a tough list to come up with because they have so many great players. There are going to be players that are not on this list that could make the list and probably make the list of other teams. I think people even that hate the Yankees would have to admit, oh my God, they have some great, great players in their history. Well, we'll start with the outfield, and we're going to be with the obvious choice, uh, Babe Ruth. You can't leave Babe Ruth off the list. 714 home runs, 2,214 RBIs. He was also 94 and 46 as a pitcher. People, a lot of people forget that he was he came up as a pitcher with the Boston Red Sox. And, of course, he's in the Hall of Fame, so I could go on forever about Babe Ruth, but I won't because we don't want this to be a five-hour video. Uh, next up, Mickey Mantle. Uh, 536 HRs. 1,509 RBIs. He also stole 153 bases. Not bad for a big guy. With uh, He was had a lot of speed. He tore up his knee, but he's also a Hall of Famer, so you can't leave him off the list. And next up, Jolton Joe DiMaggio. He had 1,537 RBIs. He had a lifetime batting average of 325. He also had a 56-game hitting streak that probably will stand forever. I just can't see anybody... You know, breaking that record. Just one of those records. So, 56 game hitting. How does someone hit in 56 straight games? Just amazing. I know Pete Rose hit in 44 straight games, but didn't quite break Joe DiMaggio's record. Of course, Joe DiMaggio is a Hall of Famer, also makes a great cup of coffee. Next up, Lou Gehrig, another player who's one of the greatest players of all time. Uh, he had 2,721 hits, he had 493 home runs, he had 1,995 RBIs. He also had a consecutive game playing streak where he played in 2,130 uh, straight games. I mean, so when you went to the ballpark, you knew Lou Gehrig was going to be playing first base for the New York Yankees. Uh, just an amazing player, also a Hall of Famer, so you can't leave him off the list. It's, it's, it's just incredible, the players they have on this team. Second baseman, Tony Lazuri. I hope I'm saying that right, but he had 178 home runs, a batting average of 292. His RBIs were 1,194. He played with all those great Yankee teams, uh, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, and so on. And he's also a Hall of Famer. There were some other players I almost went with at second base, but the, him being a Hall of Famer, you know, I never saw him play. I'm not, I'm not that old. But I put him on there mainly because he's in the Hall of Fame. You can argue, you know, it's what the comment section's for. Go ahead and give me your choice at second base for the Yankees. You know, you could have gone with Willie Randolph and some other ones, but I decided to go with old Tony because, well, he's in the Hall of Fame. Next up is a personal favorite of mine, uh, third baseman Craig Nettles. Uh, mainly put him on here because of his defense, and he was a solid home run hitter. Didn't have a great batting average. Uh, could have went with A-Rod, but I figured Craig Nettles played with the Yankees longer. His stats are probably better with the Yankees. He had 390 home runs, 1,314 RBIs, and he was like I mentioned, he was a great defensive third baseman. Could have probably won some more gold gloves, but great, uh, Brooks Robinson was over there stealing all the gold gloves away from him. But no, Craig Nettles, definitely uh, my choice for third baseman of the Yankees. 
Shortstop for the Yankees can only be one choice. Uh, you got to go with Derek Jeter. I mean, some people will still to this day claim that he was overrated, and I, I just I've never got it. If, if I'm a Padres fan, I would loved for Derek Jeter had played for my team, but I don't think he's overrated. I, is is he the greatest player of all time? No, but he's definitely one of the great Yankees and the sh- the choice at shortstop for the New York Yankees. He had 3,465 hits. His batting average was 310. He had 1,311 RBIs, and he is a Hall of Famer. So you have to go with Derek Jeter at shortstop. At catcher for the Yankees, another so many. There's so many great catchers for the Yankees, but I got to go with the one that people, a lot of people would say, was the greatest catcher of all time, and that's Yogi Berra. He had 358 homers, 1,430 uh, RBIs. He also had 2,150 hits for a catcher. That's not bad. Again. Solid defensively. So Yogi makes my list of the greatest catcher on Yankee history. Uh, Now we're going with our pitchers. Uh, First up, Whitey Ford. Uh, Great career. 236 wins. Had an ERA of 2.75. He started 438 games. And he's also a Hall of Famer. I forgot to mention that Yogi Berra is also a Hall of Famer. Ron Guidry is next. Um, 170 wins. An ERA of 3.29. And in 1978, he had a he had a record of 25 and three, which was pretty amazing. Career cut short because of injuries, but as a Yan- as a Yankee goes, great pitcher. So I'm going to go with him. Uh, number three might be a controversial pick, but I'm going with Andy Pettit. I love Andy Pettit. Uh, he had 256 wins. He pitched 3,316 innings. He also had 2,448 strikeouts. Um, Again, there's some other choices you go with, but I'm going to go with Andy Pettit. If you disagree, fine. Put it in the comment section. This is what it's all about, who, who we think is the best player, best pitcher, and all that different stuff. Uh, next, we're going to two relief pitchers. Uh, first choice is Mariano Herrera. How can you not pick him? He's he's probably could be considered the greatest relief pitcher of all time. Most do consider him the best relief pitcher of all time. 662 saves, an ERA of 2.21. He also had 86 wins. He was also unanimous choice for the Hall of Fame. Pretty amazing stat when you consider that he is the only player to be a unanimous choice for the Hall of Fame. Uh, next up, again, you might there, it might be a little controversial, but I'm going to go with Goose Gossage, mainly because he made his name as a New York Yankee. He was intimidating. His career's uh, save total, not all with the Yankees because he pitched for several different teams. Uh, he had 310 saves. His ERA was 3.01. He had also had 124 wins, and he is a Hall of Famer. And he, I, he's the one guy I would not, I would not. When he hit Ron Say in the World Series in the helmet, in the head with the pitch, uh, the guy was just intimidating. So I, he's got to be on my list. Almost went with Sparky Lyle, but I got to go with the Goose. The Goose scared me, so that's why I'm, that's why I'm picking him. Uh, and finally, as manager, again. Tough choice with the Yankees. They have so many great managers. They have so many great teams. Uh, but I'm going to go with Joe McCarthy. He had seven World Series titles. He has the most career wins as a Yankee manager with 1,460 wins. And he's also a Hall of Famer. So there's my list of the New York Yankees' greatest players and manager of all time. Again, if you disagree, put who you believe should be the best manager down there. You get Casey Stingle, Joe Torre. Uh, the list goes on, again, because the Yankees have a rich history of great players and great managers. We're going to continue doing this with uh, each team in uh, Major League Baseball. But again, this is about the New York Yankees. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend. Give us a thumbs up. Until we see you again, this is Pop-Up Sports. I'm out. Bye.